G'day and welcome back to another Gas Walkthrough. Today we're looking at December 1st, 2025's Tangled Up in Loop by Clover. Clover's one of us, those here at Gas HQ, so my name is Bill Murphy. G'day, how you doing? Uh, today's puzzle is a spicy little number. Um, I think the hat times for today are solely due to the fact that I absolutely bungled solving this one uh, when I was testing it. Um, I can't wait to see if I've actually done anything smart at this time. Oh boy. Um, all right. Uh, yeah, we are gas, genuinely approachable Sudoku. We create sets of genuinely approachable Sudoku for you, the person watching this. You will find the link to today's puzzle in the description down below. You will also find hat times, two hats is for a very fast time, one hat's for a pretty fast time. Everyone gets a dice sword because we love you all equally. That being said, I'm going to get into it. Let's do it. So. This is a loop doku. What does loop doku mean? So, normal Sudoku rules apply. Each box, each row, and each column must contain digits one to nine once each. Now, normal, uh, draw a loop in the grid that passes through every cell. So the first thing we're gonna need to do is turn on pen tool. So if you, if you haven't done that in uh, Sudoku pad, here's how you do it. Uh, if you press on settings, Smash enable pen tool. That's it. Now pen tools here. I'm gonna go for a very light color today. Uh, and we are gonna go uh, center only. Uh, now, draw a loop in the grid that passes through every cell except the central shell, central cell shaded gray, moving uh, only left, right, up and down, no diagonals. The loop must travel straight through every odd digit and turn on every even digit. Um, so let's let's try. I'm gonna I'm gonna give you my best explanation of what this looks like. So, uh, where would I start? Right, let's start. Let's start actually up here. So, um, because because this loop's gonna go through every cell. It's going to go through this two like that. So it's going to have to turn on the two, but because it turns on the, uh, it must turn on every even digit. It has to turn like that. Make sense. And then for this three year, it actually has to go straight just like that. Um, so that's it. That's all you need to know to solve today's puzzle. Um, you'll, I don't know. I'm, I'm actually just jumping. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, I was just jumping back into OBS to see how my like thing looks. Um, but, uh, that being said, that's all you need to know to solve today's puzzle. I'm going to get into it. Let's do it now. All right. So I'm going to just put that nine in, uh, this is one, two, six. Uh, we can take six out, take two out. Uh, this is one, seven, nine along here. Uh, this is five, seven, nine. And this is uh, four, eight, nine. Now we can take the two nines uh, because we've got nine here and do the nine up here. Then this becomes seven, five, nine. And then we take two nines out of here and then put nine here. And that's about as much Sudoku as we can do before I have to jump into the loop. All right. So uh, here's some things that we can do immediately. Um, I'm gonna see if I'm really desperate to color, I might color. Um, but uh, in the corners, it always has to turn. Now, uh, let's, and now this is now a new corner, this little six thing. So it's gonna have to turn like that. The one and seven, both must go straight. The nine must also continue. Uh, this five also must continue because we're going straight through odd digits. These two must go up. These two must go up. Uh, this one must go twice to the left because we're passing through two more odd digits. Uh, this, uh, five and three must continue to go straight. Now this three has to go straight through two cells. Uh, this two has to turn that way. Four is now like a new corner. The only way we can take that cell in a loop is if we do that. The seven has to go straight. The five has to go straight through the nine. Now, uh, do we know anything else at this point? Uh, we're never taking the nine in our loop, which is fine. Uh, okay. So this four and eight 
must go like this, uh, because the eight needs to get taken in that particular dimension. Uh, nine has to go straight. Now, uh, I'm just, I'm, s I love pencil puzzles. I wish they loved me. Uh, and down here, we know that this has to be an even digit because uh, it travels through this cell and it has to go like that. Every cell has to be entered and exited twice. If, you, if there's only two ways that we haven't traveled through the loop, we must do it like that. Now, uh, that is, as far as I can tell, probably the extent of the loop that we can do. So we're going to have to look at Sudoku for the minute. So let's do that. One, two, three. Uh, oh, I could have done more Sudoku already, but that's fine. All right. Now, this is five, seven, nine, which is very interesting for the obvious reason of, hey, look, a loop goes straight through because they're all odd digits. Now, uh, over here, we have four, six, eight. Uh, this is an eight. Uh, conflict check is making a little bit of a joke out of this, but that's fine. Uh, we go down straight here. Now, the only way that we can take these cells is if this happens. Uh, because we have two e even digits up there. Now, this has to go straight. Two must turn, so it can't take the three, and it has to do that. Uh, now, we must pass through a three the whole way. We can't go that way because the loop can't actually overlap itself. So let's do that. And now this eight has to turn like this. Uh, the one must come down. The four needs to turn through like that. And now this one three has to go down straight and we do that. Six must turn. I, fe I feel like I'm going insane. All right, over here, let's try this. Uh, one, four, six. Uh, we know that this has to be a six. Uh, this cannot be a four. And why, uh, why, ooh, why can it not be a four? It's because, uh, I feel like someone's going to argue with me over semantics. Um, but the way that the rules are worded says draw a loop in the grid that passes through every shaded, every cell except the central shell, central shell. So, um, that means we can only ever have one loop. So if this was even, it would actually have to turn and then we've made a loop. So this now has to be wait, one and four. So this comes down and turns and this must turn. Now, yeah, I, I feel like this is a lot of puzzle, but I'm doing my best to explain it all very well. Uh, so that's four to nine, uh, six and four, uh, one, three, eight here, one, three, eight, uh, take three out. Uh, all right. Now let's do some more loop. Uh, this nine has to go straight and this has to turn up. This has to turn up. This cannot go straight. So it has to go like that. Uh, and this cannot go straight. So this has to do that. Now, uh, let's keep going. Uh, this is one, seven, nine. Uh, we do not know. Oh, we do know enough to do, just do that. All right. So loop comes all the way down. Uh, this only has two cells that can en be entered through. So it must do that. Uh, that's very cute. Cause that does tell us that these are even digits. So that's two, four, eight. So we take the two out. Uh, this is now three, five, which helps us because we know that the loop must continue going straight. Uh, and now what is this? Uh, these are more even digits. So this is, uh, that's a six. And then this is two, eight. Uh, yep. Cool. Woo. A uh, lot of puzzle. What a puzzle. Honestly, uh, nine going that way. Uh, this line must go straight. Uh, two, four, eight. We know it's two or eight. Now, I think this was, I think this was what got me last time too. All right. Uh, uh, eight can't go there. So we know that this has to be eight. And now this cannot go straight. So it has to come down. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. um, ah, uh, where does six go? Uh, there are no, this is one of the things I might've spotted it if I decided to color this puzzle. Two, four, six, and eight mean that all the even digits are in this, uh, are already taken here. 
So that, uh, that must go like that. And now, uh, do I know where Sith goes? Oh, not quite, not quite, not quite. Uh, all right. I'm trying, I'm trying to see if there's anything I can do before I just start doing some, uh, loopy nonsense. Uh, can I do sort of, oh, yeah, same thing. Six, four, eight, four, and two. I mean, this has to be three, five, seven. Uh, so. Uh, we draw the loop straight through. And now this cell only has two that it can enter. Oi. <laughs> loop will not do diagonal. Uh, now this turns, th and that's going to finish it, finish off the Sudoku for us. Uh, and that is our finished loop. Uh, so, why did I say that finishes off? Uh, so, this sees 4, 8, and 6, so this has to be 2. Uh, 8, uh, 1, 6, 2, 7, 1. Because now we've just got a lot of pairs to just unwind. 5, 3... Four, two, eight, four, eight, three, uh, one, three, uh, seven, five, uh, one, five, uh, six, seven, that that turns, so that's how that works, and that's seven and five. Honestly, that's probably about as long as I took when I wasn't trying to explain what I was doing every time, but I just, this time I remembered the step, the part where I got stuck. Um, this has been Tangled Up in the Loop by Clover. What a puzzle. It's a banger. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I do, even if I am like, I'm like, it's just smarter than me. Uh, Clover does that to me a lot. Um, wherever you are in the world, I hope you have an amazing rest of your day, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.